Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the old time strongman. Legends of the past like the Mighty Adam and Alexander Zass, they would perform real life feats of strength as part of a live show. Now, I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength I've performed in front of a live audience include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains with my chest, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, driving nails through wooden boards by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to share our knowledge, in an effort to grow my YouTube channel by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I try to get back to you with your very own custom video just for you as well as anybody else who happens to also be watching the channel who happens to have the same question. So, this question comes from Merton Hirsch 4734. And they said, Eric, do you think that a 6 to 10 second maximum isometric in the bench press, overhead press, or deadlift is comparable in systematic stress to doing a heavy regular set of 3 to 5 reps at 80 to 90% max? I want to program, program them into my powerlifting, but don't want to overstress myself neurologically. So I can do, say, a 6 to 10 second maximum overcoming isometric equate to that, that to one heavy set, or, could, or I could do something like a 6 second isometric followed by a 15 second rest for something like 3 to 5 repetitions. Well, that's a loaded question, and there's even more, because Penjin Star 6408 um, responded, and they said, do the dynamic movements first, then the overcoming isometric movements. Your body is actually very adaptable, plus overcoming isometrics doesn't cause any kind of soreness, so you can do it every day. So no, you won't overload yourself neurologically. Also, you should do yielding isometrics too. In the last session of the weightlifting, do as much variety as possible for maximum gains, do stretching too, a bit of calisthenics, everything you know. Respectfully, Penguin Star, I disagree. So, Merton Hirsch, one of the things is um, you're doing powerlifting. Powerlifting is a very specific sport with, a, with very specific exercises, and I wouldn't normally do isometrics with the exception of owning that bottom part of the bench press. Um, everything that you do competes with everything else that you do neurologically. And <clears throat> with powerlifting being a somewhat of a demanding sport with very specific exercises, you're going to want to take advantage of the specificity of of adaptation to impose demands, i.e. if you want to get better at bench press, you need to do bench press. Now, with the way I program, I actually think that you're probably running too close to your max um, unless you're getting very close to the meat. So with what I do and with the way I would train a power lifter is I would accumulate strength for as long as possible, pushing that wall out as for as long for as far as possible. And then as you get a little bit closer to the meat, you would do like a quick peaking cycle. Um, where like let's say uh, you're operating at around 85, 75, 85, 90% of the max for like a month prior to the meat. As for overcoming isometrics. Yeah, you're not going to feel much soreness, but that's actually kind of dangerous because you could overtax your nervous system if you're not careful. Now, 
one of the things is everybody is going to adapt to exercise just a little bit different. And in order to test whether or not it's affecting your neurological system or overtaxing it, uh, one of the first signs of danger would be loss of your fine motor control. So some of the ways to kind of keep this in mind is if you're sending a text message or you're typing out on a computer, pay attention to how you're doing it. If you start feeling clumsy, you might be overdoing it from a neurological perspective. Oh, when I was reading a book by Dan John, Never Let Go, and I don't remember which particular chapter this is, but he talked about a, um, putting dots on a piece of paper with a pen. I, for, I, I forget what it's called, but there is actually an app called a tap, tap Test, and it was a free app where basically you would tap this thing as many times as you can in a 10-second period, and you would track your the amount of taps that you're getting on that because like all, if all of a sudden you've dropped 20 taps in that 10-second period, you might be overdoing it, and the best course of action would be to maybe take a week off and rest up and recuperate. Now, as far as like adding calisthenics to powerlifting, probably not the best idea. For, for becoming stronger overall, sure, that's fine. But powerlifting is its very own beast and you want to stick to what works. So one of the things that I would ask it's like, take a look at elite level power lifters. How many of them are doing isometrics as part of their program? What are they actually doing for the isometrics? Um, test it out. Now, with the bench press, in my experience, where a lot of people have issues is because they either bounce out of the bench press, i.e. making it an illegitimate lift, or they don't go deep enough i.e. making it an, an illegitimate lift. So what I would do is find what the weak point is in your bench press and really, really own it. So if it's at the bottom, maybe hold it for like a second longer than you normally would and then blast out of it. Um, that wouldn't technically be overcoming isometrics. That would be yielding isometrics. And that would be what I would see would probably have the most value in your program. Um, in terms of like the way I like to program bench presses though, is like I do like a version of linear periodization. I like wave loading. Basically things to unlock the perceived danger associated with the lift from your central, nerve, uh, central nervous system perspective. But anyways, um, I hope that answers your question. If anybody else has any questions, uh, drop it in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video. But if you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, or you want to see the chronicles from my various strongman performances, subscribe to the channel. If you think anybody should see this, please share it with them. And also, if you want to support the channel, you could try buying a copy of my book, available on Amazon. It chronicles my story. And uh, I know everybody that's purchased it told me that they loved it. And I remember I was possessed with the muse as I was writing it. I wanted it to feel like, like uh, you were hanging out with me having a beer or a, or a cup of coffee or something while I regaled you with, t with tales of my life. There was two things running through my head was after having read McFoley's book. Is I wanted it to feel like you're having a beer with me, but I also wanted to paint a, pi the, a picture with words. So that's a good way to support the channel. And also, if you're going to be curling up with a book, try having a cup of coffee. I oftentimes joke that coffee is a source of my power. And if you purchase from goodforyoucoffeeclub.com. That's a company that my cousin started. The coffee's really good and it doesn't have like mold or pesticides or anything like that in it. Use the promo code MYPOWER10. That'll give you 10% off of that any order that you use that promo code for. So you'll save a little bit too. 
also while supporting the channel as well as, as uh, my family. So I guess that's, that is it for today. Uh, please say happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.